Hi everybody, Mike Paradise here with Automotive Process Champions and Single Thread, and we're here at our home office and studio. I say we with the, uh, my good friend and business partner, John Rayhorst, and we wanted to talk to you today about something that's really near and dear to my heart, and that is reputation, positive reputation, and CSI. You know, the CSI nowadays is really important to the manufacturers, and they make it important to you because they add some incentive to it. They incentivize it. You need to meet the standards or exceed the standards in order to make sure that you get your incentives. The other thing is the reputation management. You know, reviews online are one of the easiest ways that you can organically raise your uh, relevance and therefore show up higher on the uh, results page when it comes to uh, a search. You know, Google, the 800 pound gorilla, uh, puts that right in their algorithm that any sort of Google reviews, Yelp reviews, uh, dealer, our good friends at Dealer Raider reviews, anybody that uh, puts any kind of a review, whether it's positive or negative, it's going to help your relevance move up the ladder and, and as far as the results go on the search engines. Now, I mentioned good or bad. If you have a lot of bad reviews, that's going to push you up the ladder too. But unfortunately, they're going to, it's going to direct the, uh, the results to a direct link on the negative reviews. And you don't want that to happen. So what are three real proactive, easy ways that you can improve your CSI and your uh, reputation management? The first thing I want to talk about, it seems simple enough, but have a positive attitude. We've done a lot of phone skills training over the years, and one of the things that we always talk about is start off with a smile. Smile before you dial, right? It's the same thing we're talking about with your interactions with the customers at the dealership. Whether you're in sales or whether you're in service, the next customer is the most important customer. So don't have a bad attitude. If you just got tuned up by the manager or if you just had a really bad experience with the last customer, maybe it's time to take a breather, take a walk, uh, take a break, get your attitude straightened out. Have a positive attitude before you work with the next customer. For, so step one, make sure that you have a really positive attitude. Uh, one of the dealerships that we work with on a regular basis is consistently a President's Award winner. And why? The key reason they're a President's Award winner, the owner will tell you, I hire nice people. They're nice to everybody. And that's, that, that's what we're talking about. Just have a positive attitude. Now the next thing I want to do, step two that I want to talk about, is ask every happy customer for a review. My wife and I just got back from Mexico for a vacation recently. And when we were at the resort, whenever one of the uh, uh, employees at the resort uh, interacted with us, I won't say whenever, but often, they would ask us for a review. Hey, if we had a good experience, do us a favor, uh, write something on TripAdvisor, and be sure to mention my name. Now, I found out later that if you mention their name on a TripAdvisor review, it helps them get a free day off, and they don't get enough time off at those resorts. So it was pretty important to them. But positive reviews are really important, and, and the easiest way to do it is just to ask the customers for it. Now, once you have a happy customer, that's the customer you want to ask for a positive review. If you know that the customer might have had a, a, a little the questionable experience, don't go asking them for a review. But the positive, happy customers, and then once they said yes, they'll give you a review, make it easy for them to do it. How do you do that? Give them a direct link by texting them a direct link or even emailing them, but you know that they're going to open up a text. Text them a direct link to whichever one of the review sites you want them to place that positive review on, and it's going to help you move up the ladder. And then the third thing that I want to talk about as far as being proactive is to uh, identify the unhappy customers early on, uh, right away. Uh, try to be proactive on being able to identify the unhappy customers. Now, we have a, a tool with single thread where whenever a customer pays their, their bill, they electronically receive a receipt. And right at the bottom of the receipt, it asks the customer, have we met or exceeded your expectations? It's a simple question, yes or no. And whenever they, uh, they, they mark it no, it immediately alerts the staff with a red light, an alert, to let them know that this customer might have had a bad experience. And that way they're able to be proactive about it. Now you may not have that tool or you may not have something electronic that immediately identifies the customers like that. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that in your final uh, goodbye, shaking hands, handing them the keys, ask the customer, hey, have I met or exceeded your expectations? 
every once in a while you're going to find out that maybe there was something that you didn't know. You're going to identify the customers that are a little bit less than happy about their experience. You know, that's three proactive ways that you can improve your CSI and improve your uh, positive reputation online. It's really important, both of them, once again, because the OEMs are making the CSI import, uh, important. And second of all, the reputation online is what's going to get uh, draw customers to your store and put more boots on the ground. Hey guys, I hope you got some information that you liked out of this. And if you want to hear more about it and you want us to help you out, let us know. We'll give you our phone number right here. But we can help you out with the reputation and we can especially help you out with improving your CSI by being proactive. Have a great week.